Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the very first PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And this is just a real brief introduction of uh, the new ribbon layout of 2007 versus 2003. And a real brief introduction and this, this is really meant for beginners. Uh, and then as we progress we'll move into uh, more advanced uh, tutorials. So to start off with, um, when you open up PowerPoint it'll look something like this but you'll have a blank. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a new and just say blank presentation. So this is what it would look like when you first launch into PowerPoint. Uh, first thing I want to show you is you'll notice if you're moving recently into 2007 from an older version, the whole um, format or the whole layout of the, of the PowerPoint is completely different from the old one. So now you have up here what's called a ribbon. So I'll start off over here on the left this is the office button if you click this you get the options uh, that are very similar to the file menu that you had on the older version so new file save options print send and so forth and close okay uh, the next thing that I want to show you is that you have a quick access toolbar and these are common things that you would use so these are just the default um, icons that you put on here or the default um, uh, items that you put on here or actions such as save and undo like for example if I put title here and I wanted to undo that I would just click here undo okay redo is there so now if you want to edit that you can click customize the quick access toolbar right here and you can add things for example you could add email you could add new you know there's several options to do there and then you could go into more commands uh, from there. The other thing that you can do is under the office button here is go into PowerPoint options here and you could go down here and go into different um, options here such as proofing, uh, save, like if you wanted to save the auto recover information uh, right now it's set for every 10 minutes you could change it to 20 minutes or 99 minutes or whatever you'd want to make it okay or just uncheck it Customize options, you know, you see a lot of options there to add add-ins if you're adding macros. Um, so those are just some common ones that I want to share with you. To get out of that, you click cancel or OK if you want to save any changes. Uh, so this is the ribbon layout. So you have a home button. This is where your common options would be that you'd be using on a regular basis. Fonts. Um, color of the text, color of the font, bold, italic, italics, um, new slide button, paste button, uh, you know other things like um, shapes, find and, and uh, find and replace options and different things like bullet list and so forth. So if you want to insert anything into, your, into one of your slide you'd go to the insert section here and you click on the insert you could insert a picture or clip art or or an object such as uh, insert uh, a drawing that you made or a picture into a slide. Um, but you can see there's several options here. Insert a text box as an example. Under design there's several um, options that we'll talk about later. There's animations and we'll get into those as we move forward. Um, how to animate a slide, how to put act, you know, action to it. Um, slideshow options here. Um, review options view would be um, you'd be using that you know depending on if you want to change your view or switch to another um, another running PowerPoint um, and these are developer options and format options okay so um, the next tutorial what I'm going to do is to create a basic presentation <clears throat> when you want to create a new um, PowerPoint presentation. You have several options. So you could say, I'm going to go here and say File New. And let me sh let me modify this screen size so you can see everything here. Okay. So you've got a couple of options here. One is a blank presentation, which is something you'd want to do if you were more advanced. The other thing you can do is use a recently used template. Now these are ones I was experimenting with. There's also install templates. For example, I'll use a quiz show here, right? And I'll say create. 
and that'll bring that up and you'll notice here there's already a template laid out so if there's already a template that you like uh, certainly go ahead and use it um, if I click slideshow hope that makes it too full screen so if I go into slideshow um, it will show animation and so forth it, it goes off the screen a little bit here so um, I'll come back to that later uh, the other thing if you want to increase the size zoom in or out you can use this button at the bottom right to go larger or smaller you can use the zoom out or zoom in button here and then there's different layouts here right now we're in the the normal layout which is the um, the outline over here and the actual full slide in, in this pane over here okay there's one here we can view it uh, in in a slide sorter format and if you wanted to modify you know move slides around you could do it like that and move them around I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and then this button here is the slideshow okay so I'm gonna go back to the normal mode so that's one way of that's a couple ways of doing it I can also go into new I can I can do something called installed themes and that's to get an appropriate theme so you can use um, use any of those that are installed you can load your own templates which we don't really have right here okay um, new from existing is something if you have an existing um, PowerPoint that you'd like to use you can go ahead and just use it and it will create a new one so that's convenient and then these are these are nice to use too. Under Microsoft Office Online, you can go down to um, any of these. For example, if you're trying to find a specific type of presentation, you can go over here, Sales Call Agenda, as an example. You click it and you download it. Okay, and you see that other users rate these. So there's numerous options here. Uh, I just wanted to share with you. Those are kind of the three main options to use. Uh, if you're like most people, you probably work at a company that's using PowerPoints and they're going to have a template that you're probably going to use over and over again. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share with you as part of the introduction and tutorial number two. We're going to create a basic uh, PowerPoint slide deck. Thanks. Take care.